Hi there, and welcome back to another Ocular Audio tutorial. This one will be discussing tempo and how the effects of the groove can really make or break the piece. Tempo can have a massive effect on a piece of music. A piece of music composed will sound completely different at a faster tempo than it will at a slower tempo. We'll demonstrate now how one piece of music, which is exactly the same, sounds different at two different tempos. The first one is a piece at 105 BPM. This feels right, the groove feels right, and it's a piece that moves forward without lagging. The same piece at 60 BPM, however, as you will hear, sounds completely different. Okay, so as you've heard, that second part really sounds very lethargic, very lazy, very sluggish, especially in that bass line where you can just hear it sort of the really elongated notes, whereas we're going to hear later on by just changing the, the bass line to more pulsing on like crotchet beats, you can really hear that how that picks, it, picks up that pace a bit more. As Dan mentioned, note duration can have an effect upon the feel of a piece as well. If we change some of the note durations in some of the instruments, such as the bass and the piano, we can make this piece flow better at this tempo. Look at this MIDI here and compare the two. You will see that the second set of MIDI has more notes in it and therefore this fills the space of the slow tempo better. The bass has been changed so that it has more of a pulse. It drives the piece forward and provides the foundation of the piece. So that pedaling bass line creates that driving force. It allows that groove to flow from it and filling in those blanks where there is always something going on. Just touching upon note duration a bit more, if we had a piece which was say at 120 BPM and a lot of the instruments were playing crotchet or eighth notes. The piece would feel very fast. However, if the instruments didn't play notes of that duration and instead played notes that went over a whole bar or two bar, you could give the illusion that the piece isn't as quick. This is a great way to change the feel of a piece even without adjusting the tempo, simply using note durations and rhythms to provide a different feel. So in other words, like looking at half time for example, even though the BPM might be 120, you're actually only playing somewhere around the 60 mark. And it's a great way to actually slow the piece down so you could have a section that's actually in that 120, but if you play minims in the next section, it'll only feel like it's actually 60 BPM. 